Well, as mentioned, a tornado touched down in Kelowna this morning, taking the roof off of gas station and restaurant, which eventually ended up landing on a nearby business. TV6's Hernan Gutierrez spoke to the owner and walks us through the rubble. That's really overwhelming, you know. I don't have a shop. I don't have a house. Behind me, the destruction left behind by an EF2 tornado confirmed by the National Weather Service in Kelowna, just off of Illinois Route 84. Businesses in the area now left picking up the pieces before yet another potential round of severe weather. They wanted to get what we could get out before the walls collapse even more with the wind or whatever. So we're just hoping that it gets by us and we don't have no more damage, but that's what we're praying for now. Milo Velos was able to get his race cars out after his tire shop collapsed due to Tuesday's tornado. This comes as he lost his house in a fire just three weeks ago. I mean, I don't know how much more I can take with the thing, you know. I mean, we lost all the memories, all pictures, you know. We lost our three dogs, and that was the hardest part. Across the street, Amber Reel started recording just as the roof of a neighboring gas station was ripped off by the storm. Oh, my God. I, I mean, we're lucky. I don't know. I look at all this, and I'm just, like, amazed that... Even my mailbox, when this, this sign this morning was sideways, but my mailbox is still scanning normal. For Velos, it'll be a long road to recovery. About 25 people helped him clear up what he could. I'm going to have to get a demo permit, and I'm going to start demoing it. And Unfortunately, it's nobody's fault. It's the act of God, so it's like you have to take care of it. In Kelowna, Hernan Gutierrez, TV6 News. The NWS says the tornado was on the ground for about a minute and traveled about half a mile during that time.